I got joy in my soul. God is in control. I got Satan on my trail, but I'm singing all is well. He's attacking every day, but I'm watching while I pray. No matter the attack, I won't turn back. This means war. This means war. This means war. I got joy in my soul, God is in control. I got Satan on my trail, but I'm singing all is well. He's attacking every day, but I'm watching while I pray. No matter the attack, I won't turn back. This means war. This means war. This means war. This means war. Amen, amen. I think it's on now. It's on now. Let's go to war. Let's let's go to war. Let's get ready. Let's get ready for to do battle. We are grateful, are grateful to be in the house of the Lord one more time. And we come to bless the Lord. And we are blessing the Lord. I'm I'm so grateful this morning. I said again said to you as I said last week thank you thank you thank you Law Street this had been one of the best anniversary that I've had since I've been at Law Street amen amen <laughs> praise amen. the Lord Again, we ask that you continue to pray uh, pray for uh, the many people that uh, that need our prayers pray for this high crime rate pray for the problems that's going on in our country uh, that's uh, no matter what these young men do, uh, they they don't deserve to be uh, shot down like that. And and but you know most of all the mother, my eyes I kept my eyes on that mother, uh, how she, she her heart was just to pieces for the loss of her son, and and, and we need to pray y'all. It's, it's not just her; it's all over the country. It's yeah. in our city. Mothers, mothers and fathers have broken hearts for losing their sons and their daughters yeah. and the daughters and the daughters, the girls, the women. And so we need to continue to pray for this hate that's in our country, this separation that's in our country. We just need to continue to pray. Uh, so and I, 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 I want to pray, pray for Odie. Uh, it's, it's spirits, uh huh? Last name is Spears, yeah, uh, Odie Spears. We want you to pray for her uh, over there in Wilson, Louisiana. I want you to pray for her in that triple bypass. She was doing good. She had a bad day, but we want to continue to pray for her. Amen? Pray. Amen. And God, I, I, and I want to say to you, let, let, Law Street, let's get ready to move on. We're going to move on carefully, but we're going to move on anyhow uh, as, 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 as this pandemic go down. But we still want you to be careful. Still want you to be careful. There's still a mask mandate in our state. Uh, and we ask that you wear your mask. And please, sir, please, ma'am, uh, get your shots. I heard Pastor Jackson say, pray uh, uh, about your shot. I say to you, we already prayed. Go get your shots. Amen. And then ask God to watch over you when you get those shots. Sure, there's a few people had some reaction. Amen. And it was told that we have reaction to the flu shot. Amen. So we have reaction to other shots. So, But until we can get this thing down to where we can be free, we can come in here and throw that mask away, put it in our pocket. I got dressed this morning. I said, you look good, man. Then I said to myself, oh, you got to wear your mask. And I said, oh, Lord, have mercy. But you got to wear the mask. Amen. You got to wear your mask and praise the Lord. We, we're grateful. We're going to bless the Lord with a word today. Exchange. We need uh, to do these kind that. of things as Christians. Uh, uh, partner up. We need to partner up with one another. Uh, you pray for my child, I'll pray for yours. You, you, pray, you pray for my family, I'm going to pray. We need to, we, need to, I, we need to partner up like that. Amen? Ain't nothing wrong with that. We, we need to do those kind of things. And nothing wrong with that. We praise God. I want to call your attention today to the book of Luke chapter 17. Uh, won't be long. 
uh, this is a, a strange look, another look. As I studied this thing, I said, Lord, this is not what I thought it should have been, but it's, it is what God wanted to be. Uh, Luke, Luke chapter 17, uh, verse 5, uh, you, you find the beginning of it, and we'll go down uh, a little further down in, in that chapter, where we'll talk about the whole chapter. I kept on trying to go around the whole chapter, but God would not let me go around the whole chapter go without going into the whole chapter. Amen. Amen. God bless I, I each and every one of you. We thank you again uh, for last week, but we will share with the word. Amen. Amen. Luke chapter 17. Glory to God. How many of you in here are grateful? Grateful that Corona did not touch you that you're still here. I am grateful for the things that he has done. Yes, 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 Lord. Yes, I'm grateful for the victory Sorry, we've won. I could go on and on and on about your word yes, yes, yes. because I'm grateful, grateful, so grateful just to praise you, Lord. Flow in from my heart are the issues of my heart is gratefulness mm -hmm. I don't know where to start Jesus God, I could have been dead and gone, but you saw a difference. You decided, you decided to save me, save me, save me. Oh, and I'm grateful, yes. I could have been down and out, but you saved me, Lord. Oh, Lord, from the bottom of my heart, I want to say, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. I love you, Lord. From my heart, I love you. From the bottom of my heart, I love you. All my days, I'm going to serve you, Lord. Yeah, wherever you want me to go, Jesus, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Said I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Yeah, 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 yeah. La 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 la. Whatever you tell me to say, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say. I'm going to move when you tell me to move, Jesus. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. And I thank you for delivering me, for setting me free, for washing me clean. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, 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 I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Oh, 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 can't nobody do me like you, Jesus. Can't nobody hold me like you, Jesus. Lord, you kept me. Oh. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, 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 o
I love you, Lord, flowing from my heart are the issues of my heart. Is gratefulness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, come on. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It's just time, it's just time. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. It's good, it's good, it's good. It's good. I like what the Elder Moore said to me one time. She said, Johnny, if the Lord did it for me, he gonna do it for you. So I say to you, if the Lord did it for me, he gonna do it for you. He'll deliver you, he'll deliver you, he'll bless you. Praise the Lord. God is still blessing in the blessing business. I brought my car to the, to the car dealer yesterday. The man said, I got four things to work on. And when I went to pick the car, he said, uh, I said, man, you know, what, what I owe? He said, oh, you don't owe me nothing. It was already, <laughs> it was already covered under the warranty. I, and I said, thank you. I went home and told the minister. She said, what it cost? I said, nothing. God is still good, y'all. God will just keep on working. It just keep on working. Praise the Lord. When I think about Sister Josephine and the many, many, many others, even me, myself, the losses I had in my life, the, 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 the valleys and the downfall and how, how hard it's been. And when I think about that, I was in a position when I thought I couldn't make it, that I wasn't going to make it. Didn't know where else to turn. Hallelujah, somebody. Ain't, ain't God all right? Have anybody else been in that? Nah, nah. nah. If you haven't been there yet, and I'm going to say like the elderly people say, you just keep on living. You're going to find yourself there. And that's why we find ourselves today in, in, in this text today in Luke chapter 17, where, 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 where Jesus is giving his disciples an impossible task. And got the audacity to look at them and said, what's, 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 what's impossible for man is possible for God. He's given them, daughter, an impossible task. Saying, saying to them that, I know they say forgive, forgive seven times, but I say to you seven times, 70. Impossible task. And Jesus tell it the, one and one th one of the things he said to them he said I go to Jerusalem and that's all he had to say because his disciples knew that if he went back to Jerusalem he was a dead man matter of fact I can back that up because one of them said let's go with him and die with him because they knew that he was that his enemies were waiting to kill him and Luke had wrote some of these things. And, and Luke is considered the, the, the writer to the Gentiles in the times of the Jewish, right in the midst of the Jewish writing, in the midst of Matthew, uh, Mark, and, and, and John himself, who walk with Jesus, who was, Jew, who was Jewish inside out. But Luke, the physician, the doctor, writes things that, and, and what I like about him is George, those that we throw away. Luke brought him in to show you the kind of man that Jesus is. He, he, he gets in, and Jesus gets to him and, and gives them teaching his apostle. He, he goes from being a disciple to being an apostle. A disciple is a follower. Amen. These apostles were the ones whom Jesus called, help me somebody, called within his ministry and witness him. Witness him before his death and witness him after he died. 
called Paul as an apostle because Paul said, I saw him with my own eyes. Amen? After he changed me. But, 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 but Jesus get in there and start to talk, that talk about uh, uh, an impossible task to forgive someone uh, uh, 70 times 70. And his disciples look at him, if y'all would look at me in Luke chapter 17, verse 5. And, and, and we miss, sometimes we miss it. Yeah, we can go there. Yeah, we can go there. Luke chapter 17, verse 5 and 6, if you got to say amen. Verse 5. And the apostles said unto the Lord, increase our faith. And the Lord said, if you had faith as a grain of mustard seed, you might say unto this sycamore tree, be thou plucked up by the root, be thou planted in the sea, and it should obey you. Now come over to uh, verse 14 and, and, and say this, and when he saw them, he said unto them, go show yourself unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a Loud, somebody say loud. loud, glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. Luke had to put that in there. And Jesus answered and says, uh, uh, were there not ten cleansed? But where is the nine? There are not found that return to give God what, y'all? Glory to God Except this stranger, Lord have mercy. And he said unto him, arise, go your way. Your faith, somebody say your faith, amen. have made, thy, made thee whole. Let the church say amen. amen. Can I speak to you for a little while with the, the power of little faith, of a little faith? The power of a little faith, amen. The power of a little faith, faith. Dictionary says a complete trust, a complete confidence in someone and in something. Well, Pastor, what is confidence? Confidence is the feeling or the belief that one can rely on someone or something. Can I go to take you into the Bible since you don't trust the, 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 the Webster Dictionary? Uh, 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 Hebrews chapter 1, chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things what? Not seen. The, that's the King James Version. The Amplified Bible says, now faith is the assurance, the title, I like that, Sister Dana, the title and the deed and confirmation of things hoped for, then he, he throw in there, divinely guaranteed. Y'all miss that? Y'all miss that? Divinely guaranteed and the evidence of things not seen, watch how he explained it, the conviction of their reality. Faith comprehends as fact what cannot be experienced by the physical sense. Which, wait, no, 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 you missed it. You missed it. It went right by you. Faith understand as facts what cannot be experienced by the physical senses. The disciples ask out of a strong sense of the need of faith they, that they thought therein and of themselves that they could not do what Jesus said they could do. What, what, some, what some of the things, Brother Green, he said that you can cast out demons. You can heal the sick. Somebody help me here. Amen, somebody. You can overcome the obstacles in life. You can, in matter of fact, you can handle the obstacles in life. Let me tell you, there's a difference. That's a difference between overcoming the obstacle and handling the obstacle. When you overcome the obstacles, that means you moved it out of the way. But when you handle it, that means you walk in the midst of your troubles. And Jesus says, you can handle that. Jesus said, I'm going to tell you something else. I, I, I'll raise the bar. I'll raise the standard. Pray for your enemies. 
He said, I'm going to raise it a little higher. Pray for your enemies when they despitefully misuse you. Somebody help me here. He said, you ought to forgive them. And, and, and Paul and, I mean, Peter and James and John and the others said, how can we do this, Lord? And Jesus, did. We, 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 we in a state of confusion. We, we're in a state of confusion here. We in, we're walking in the impossibility right now. Jesus, you don't put us in a place of impossibility. I can't do that. Don't, no, don't look at me funny. You can't handle it either. How many times can you forgive? Come on, somebody. And they do it again? And who in the world you think you are? Amen, somebody? Who do you think I am? I'm not going to let you misuse me like that. You're going to stop right now. You just at number two. Jesus says you're supposed to go past number seven. Amen, somebody? And Paul and Peter, they were shaking their head. I see him. I can't do that. Pastor, you're talking that talk. You, you, you're telling us to walk that walk, but I can't do it. Pastor, I lost everything. I lost the best thing in my life, and you telling me to smile anyhow? Well, it's hard for me, but the apostles were saying, Lord, I know the answer. Lord, give us more faith. Not to get money. Somebody help me here. And I don't want you to misunderstand. I mean, you can take it the way you want to take it, but let me, t let me put it this way. When Jesus said, if you had faith as a grain of mustard seed, he said you could speak to a tree and pull it up from the roots and cast it yonder. The apostles were saying to themselves, Sister Dana, what in the world would I want to do with a tree? I need more than a tree. What good is it going to do me to cast that tree over there? Can y'all catch the point here? They was pointing at something else that they needed more than just the ability to speak to that tree. I need more. Lord, I'm talking about how you go, how in the world I'm going to forgive my enemy. I don't like her. And you telling me to love her? I can't stand her. I don't like how she dress. I don't like how she walk. I don't like how she talk. And you telling me to love her anyhow? You telling me to love him after he done broke my heart and destroyed my life? Help me somebody. You don't want me to go back to him, but I got to love him anyhow? Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me this morning. Y'all thought I was going to say, uh, 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 call it and haul it? Amen, somebody. The money coming? No, 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 no. I'm telling you now because we got to walk through, through this life. I don't care how much money you got, trouble going to still come to your door. Yeah. Hallelujah. Somebody, I don't care how fine and pretty you are, somebody going to break your heart. I don't care how handsome you are, somebody going to stab you in your back. I don't care how good you are, somebody going to tear you down. I don't care how many times you come to church. Trouble going to come your way. How am I handling my trouble? Lord, give me more. Faith, give me the power to keep on keeping on. <laughs> Ain't God all right? Lord, I got my stimulus check, but my bill is way above my stimulus check. As a matter of fact, the stimulus check came too late. Oh, y'all don't want to hear me. Jesus spoke about that seed for several reasons. Number one, he corrected them. Amen? He corrected them. He said, now, 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 you should have faith. You saw what I did. You seen what I could do. You seen my power. As a matter of fact, you heard the father say, this is my son in whom I am well pleased. You heard all of that, and still you don't have enough faith? He said, you saw it, you saw it. You saw me heal. You saw me made the blind see and the lame to walk. And still you don't have enough faith. Caught up in a storm, and Jesus told them, oh, ye of. Man, let me tell you something. Let, let, let me throw in something. Now, Jesus expect high stuff from you. Jesus expect more from you because you know 
who he is. You've seen what he can do. I heard you say, had it not been for the Lord on my side. Somebody help me here. Could have been dead and sleeping in my, matter of fact, should have been dead, sleeping in, the, but the Lord gave me another day. So baby, you know. He was teaching, number two, he, was, he is teaching that little faith can accomplish incredible things. As a matter of fact, every time he accused them of little faith, he did something incredible. Came down, came down. That, that man was possessed with a demon, and they was arguing with his disciples. And, 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 and Jesus came out, what's going on here? And they said, Lord, he said, Lord, I brought my son to your disciples. And, 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 and he's got a demon, and they could not cast that demon out of him. And Jesus said, how long? Will I be with you? Amen. And turn and cast the demon out. Amen. Let me, let me pin a point here. Every demon he cast out said to him, Father, they said, I know, I know who you are. They said, I know who you are. You know why, y'all? Can I give you a little bit of uh, heavenly, heavenly history? The demons was up there in heaven with him. They saw him sitting on the right-hand side of the Father. They saw him when he said, I'll go down and redeem me. They heard him say that. They knew who he was. And they, they said to him, we know who you are. And Jesus says, be quiet. If there's some demons in here, Jesus don't want you praising him. Hallelujah, somebody. He wants the ones that really love him and know him to praise him. You ever wonder why some people be quiet in church? Because, Lord, have mercy. I didn't mean to go there. And he, he, he gives an illustration, number three, that points out that they were asking for power to be able to forgive sin. He went into a definite hard thing. I don't even want to get the, the, one writer say, preacher, if you want to go into it, you go into it. He goes and talks about slavery and how a slave, I heard you, son, how a slave ought to be. I, 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 I heard you. But, but, but he was talking about a slave, how he ought to be obedient to his master. So you come out the fields, and instead of the master says, uh, go ahead, clean yourself up and eat your food, he said, no, you prepare my food, and, and when you finish preparing my food, then you can eat. And Jesus said something else, you, what you were, what's, inspect, what's expected of you, why would you want somebody to give you glory for what is expected of you? So God, Jesus was saying, I expect you to forgive seven times 70. But Jesus, how am I going to do that? Because I'm going to give you power to be able to forgive when it's impossible to forgive. Amen, somebody? The first time they cross you, the first thing, I'm sorry, the, the, when they cross you, the first thing you ought to do, Lord, give me strength. Because I'm about to knock this heifer out. Give me strength. Because I'm about to knock this in dude out. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Lord, give me strength. I ain't playing. I'm telling you like it is. That's the truth. You know you want to knock somebody out, but ask the Lord to give you strength. The disciples asked for more than faith. But Jesus did not grant them more faith. So it was not a lack of faith they were asking for, but they were asking for power to forgive. I, I just, I, that's my argument, Sister Josephine. That's my argument right there. And, 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 and can I pin another note? Then I'm going to close this sermon. My grandson said close it. I'm going to close this sermon. And, and can I pin it? Be careful when you ask for more faith. Huh? Faith comes by. Somebody help me here. There you go. Right. And the word says, so you, so what's got to happen in order for you to get more faith? You got to be obedient to the word. The word said, listen to what Jesus told us, told us, those, those, those lepers. He said, go and do what the priest told you to do. Go wash. Amen, somebody. They were obedient, but, 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 but they missed the point. Nine of them missed it. One of them caught the point. 
as they were gone, they said, look, we clean. Jesus clean and we clean. The one of them said, Jesus clean. The other nine said, no, we clean because we wash. Stop giving credit for something that you've done. But give God the glory. Somebody help me here? Hallelujah. Let me close this. This faith, this kind of faith is based on the grace of God. You didn't catch it. This kind of faith is not something you did, but it's all what God did. You, you still didn't get it. This kind of faith is not something you deserve. Hallelujah, somebody. But God gave it to you anyhow. Somebody help me here. Ain't God all right? Somebody go help me. Can I, can I call a witness up in here? Ain't God all right? Come here, the woman with the issue of blood. She tried everything. 12 years she was bleeding, spent all her money, and the Bible says she snuck up behind Jesus. Watch this, Sister Dana. She snuck up behind him and stole a blessing. Y'all never didn't know she stole a blessing, huh? The Bible says she didn't have permission to touch Jesus. She was not supposed to touch Jesus because he was a rabbi. She was a woman. She was not supposed to touch Jesus because she had been bleeding for 12 years. So she stole a blessing. Is there anybody in here who know they're not worthy, but the Lord bless you anyhow? You didn't do anything, but the Lord bless you anyhow. Ain't the Lord all right? Say yeah! Say yeah! Glory! She stole it. She stole it. Jesus said, who touched me? Ain't nobody knew who touched her. But she made a confession, Lord, it's me. Is there anybody up in here can say, Lord, it was me? Hallelujah, somebody. I didn't deserve this blessing, but I got it anyhow. It's me. Hallelujah. I'm finished, y'all. I, I, I close. Junior say, Papa, close it. Papa, close it. I close it. But Luke was bringing people, minister who was unworthy. He brought them in. She came behind him. There was another. When he was sitting in the house of the Pharisees. Hallelujah, somebody. There was another woman that came behind him. And the Bible says she was a sinner. She came behind him and she was crying her tears were falling and she kissed Jesus feet and washed his feet and Simon said to himself if he knew what kind of woman is touching him the outcast the throwaway that's the kind of Jesus I serve I serve the kind of Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm about to break up right now. <laughs> I'm serve the kind of Jesus that the people you reject, <laughs> Jesus will bring them in. <laughs> the people we talk about, <laughs> Jesus will bring them in. <laughs> he says, Simon, see this woman. <laughs> Ain't God all right. <laughs> you didn't give no water for my feet, <laughs> but she washing with her tears. <laughs> he said, daughter, go your way. Your faith have made you whole. Go in peace. Out of all of that Jesus did for that woman, the last thing he said, go in peace. Because she came in there, Brother Miles, she could not find peace until she came behind Jesus. She humbled herself. She didn't come in the front of Jesus, but she came behind Jesus. She had to come behind She was not worthy to come before the master, so she went behind him. Lord, I, I, I like that behind. I like that behind. Coming from behind him because I'm not worthy. But yet still, he going to bless me anyhow. 
he die? Didn't he die? But early, I say early, I say early, I don't think you hear me, but early, the angel went behind the cave. Early, and then he came in front of the cave. But early, he moved the rock. But early, he got up with all power. I'm finished. God bless you. God bless you. Please do not think that you are not worthy. Yes, you are. I plead, I plead the blood. 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 I've been in a storm and the rain, but the blood still stays the same. Whatever's going wrong, my wall clothes are on. I might be in a daze, but you can't have my praise. No matter the attack, I won't turn back. This means war.